Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Well in this episode we are doing RC cars. So this RC car is one that I've driven on my channel in the past and uh, Andre saw it and Christmas has passed and he got one back here. Ta-da! So his is green, mine's red and we're gonna take them out and drive them around because these are really cool because check out the bottoms. They're all metal and they have a lot of metal parts inside. They got metal braces, everything, and they're less than a hundred bucks. Like, I mean, way less than a hundred bucks. So check this out. All right, Andre, yeah. there's the race. Go, go, see you later. <laughs> Do you see why? <laughs> Andre, you have to learn how something called feathering your throttle. I am driving as slow as possible so that it, stay, it doesn't slide on the ice. Here. Wow. You can see who's the pro RC driver. Watch this. I'll bring it back full speed, but nice and feathered. And here we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> see, wasn't that awesome? Okay, let's try that again. Now you got the feathering down? <laughs> sure. Okay, ready? Yeah. Don't spin out. Right. Ready? So now it's to the end of those pieces of wood on the left. All set? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, yours is faster for some reason. All right, so that was our little test of these cars. They're a blast out here. It's really icy and snowy, but they did well. The tires, Andre was saying he wants to put studs on them so they grip a little bit more, but uh, you could have a blast with these things. So Andre, what'd you think? I, for what they are, wow. I mean, metal chassis, look at, it's reinforced. This is a pretty sweet little yeah. piece of kit. And they're under a hundred bucks, like a hundred dollars US. Like I don't mean $99, I mean a way under that. So uh, check out the price. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to put links below to where you can find these cars. If you have kids, they're a lot of fun. If you do get two of them at the same time, like we have right now, you have to change the channel. And on the remote, it allows you to change four different channels. So just put one of them on number one and the next one on number two. And if you have four, go one, two, three, four. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video with more reviews of drones, RC cars, uh, but not RC boats because it's frozen out here. All right, see you in the next video. And now a quick unboxing of this really cool RC car. Take off the top of the box and what do we have? Instruction manual, charging system, and the car itself. And let's see if we can take it out. Yep, the car comes out nicely. Let's take a quick look at this. First impressions, it has quite a bit of weight. You can feel the metal on here. So you have metal here, metal shocks. It's uh, very well constructed. Metal in the back right there. You can see all the shocks, metal. And if I flip it upside down, metal so this thing is made to bash and trash even in the front here metal 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 of course everything would be plastic in the location in this area and the same here metal 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 that's most rc cars are like that so it's pretty good so taking crashes and bashes right here a small bumper you can see holding the buggy this way we have quite a bit of clearance tires are very soft so they're going to be grippy close up of the wheels top canopy is removed just by taking out the two cotter pins one here one here let's take off the top and see what's underneath right here we have the motor in the front right down here you have your servo to control the steering if i turn this you should see it move you can kind of see the steering servo there it's got the sticker on it that says new you can also see the motor nice and close up right here and the gearing that goes underneath the plastic there. Battery's already sitting here, it's right here. I'm gonna take it out. It is nice they include a battery with it. It's a 7.4 volt, that's a two cell battery at 1500 milliamps. There's the battery connector in case you wanna put a bigger one in, just get the same connector. Something interesting I noticed on the receiver and the SCs is some metal cooling, you hear it? But check this out, there's a spot right here that you can plug in an LED external light kit right there and it even has an on off switch right here so when you put the battery in you can switch it off or switch it on all right let's do the bounce test now if you're new to rc cars the bounce test is basically you drop your car 
onto a surface and it should not bounce. If it bounces, it means the shocks are really poor. If it doesn't bounce, it means your shocks are really good. So here we go, bounce test. Well, that's pretty good. It just fell flat and stayed solid. So that means these shocks are pretty darn decent. You can see you have a spoiler at the back right here and it is removable. Screws are there. Let's see what else comes in the box. You have something, a wheel sticking out. That would be your remote controller. There we go, remote controller. And you will have to provide your own batteries. It takes one, two, three, four AA batteries. Looking closely at the remote controller, you have a mode switch here. It's got mode one, two, three, four. You can set it with an LED light. It has the power switch right here, I believe. Up front, you have your throttle and steering trim controls and basically a nice foam piece on top of the wheel for turning left and right and your forward and brakes and reverse. You also get a tool for removing the wheels. The instruction guide has the typical exploded diagram so you can reassemble your car or fix any parts if they get broken. And speaking of parts, they have a part list at the back so all parts are replaceable if you damage anything. And that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Many more reviews coming up. Take care, catch you in the next video.